Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Favar Lakes walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look at HMail server initial configuration which includes the creation of domain or adding a domain to it and then just creating some mailboxes. So to add a domain, this is our HMail server administration console. You can see we have getting started uh, written over here and we have add domain button. So what we are going to do is we are going to type over domain name. You know, we have abc.lab domain and then there is names, signature, limits, DKIM, signing, advanced, which we are not going to work on anything right now. So we'll save this. So now if you look over here, our domain is added over here. Now let's create uh, mailboxes in this domain. So for example, let's add an account. I can add direct account over here or I can simply add an active directory account. So let me take an active directory account. So I have administrator, which is already there. So I'll add that account over here. And if you look over here, I have already added Active Directory account, which is administrator. Now, I, if I want to add more, I can just simply add some more accounts like this. So if you look over here, we have three accounts created over here. So either I can create a user inside over here and I can import it from Active Directory itself also. If I click on any one of them, uh, you can see I can set up the password. And so to set up the password, I can just click uh, here and then I can type in the password. Okay. All right, and then I'll save it. Same way I can set the credentials for other users. So this is how you can add a domain and users inside HMail server. You have some more options. If you look over here, I have like Alex. I have auto reply. I can add auto reply. I can set forwarding. I can set signature. I can set external accounts, rules, some other rules are there, active directory details are there, and I have advanced settings where I can type in the complete full name and last name of this user. Whatever. And I can say save. And this account is saved for me. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I'm talking about.